The 1962 to 1963 NBA season was the 17th season of the National Basketball Association. The season began on October 16, 1962 and ended on March 17, 1963. The Warriors moved from Philadelphia to San Francisco, California. They played their first seasons in the Cow Palace in Daly City. The Cincinnati Royals were promptly shifted to the NBA's East Division to replace the Warriors. The Chicago Packers are renamed the Chicago Zephyrs. The NBA starts naming Coach of the Year and NBA All-Rookie teams as part of its regular season awards. Spot World, what's going on? It's your boy Ab with NBA Rap. That was some quick thoughts about this season. Let's move on into the team records. The Boston Celtics led both the league and the East with a record of 58 wins and 22 losses. Followed by the Syracuse Nationals with a 48 and 32 record. The Cincinnati Royals 42 and 38 and the New York Knicks 21 wins, 59 losses on the season. The West was led for the second consecutive season by the Los Angeles Lakers with a 53 win 27 loss season followed by the st louis hawks 48 and 52 detroit pistons 34 and 46 san francisco warriors 31 and 49 and the chicago zephyrs 25 wins and 55 losses really i'm just waiting on when the new york knicks are gonna have a good season like what year is that gonna happen let's get into our season leaders and all-star game the scoring leader was wilt chamberlain of the san francisco warriors 3586 points averaging 44.8 Wilt was also the rebounding leader of the season, 1,946 rebounds, averaging 24.3 per game. The assist leader was Guy Rogers of the San Francisco Warriors with 825, averaging 10.4. The 13th National Basketball Association All-Star Game was played on January 16, 1963. The game's MVP, Bill Russell, had 19 points and 24 rebounds in the East 115 to 180. An eight win at Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena in the first All-Star game held in California. This was the last All-Star game to feature one of the original All-Stars from the 1951 game with Bob Cousy making his 13th and final All-Star appearance. The Eastern Conference All-Stars were Bob Cousy, Bill Russell, and Tom Henson of the Boston Celtics, Johnny Green, Richie Guerin, and Tom Gola of the New York Knicks, Lee Shafter, Hal Greer, and Red Kerr of the Syracuse Nationals, and Jack Twyman, Oscar Robinson, and Wayne Embry of the Cincinnati Royals. They were coached by Red Auerbach of the Boston Celtics. The Western Conference All-Stars were Jerry West, Elgin Baylor, and Rudy LaRusso of the Los Angeles Lakers, Bob Pettit and Lenny Wilkins of the St. Louis Hawks, Don Oyle and Bailey Howell of the Detroit Pistons, Wilt Chamberlain, Guy Rogers, and Tom Meshery of the San Francisco Warriors, Walt Bellamy and Terry Dissinger of the Chicago Zephyrs. They were coached by Fred Schaus of the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's get into our award winners of the season. I'm not going to lie. We need that Rookie of the Year award here in Spa World. Hit that like button right now. Please, if you can, if you're new, subscribe. The most valuable player of the 1962-1963 season was Bill Russell of the Boston Celtics, averaging 16.8 points per game, 4.5 assists per game, and 23.6 rebounds per game. The Rookie of the Year was Terry Dissinger of the Chicago Chicago Zephyrs, averaging 25.5 points per game, 3.1 assists per game, and 8.1 rebounds per game. The first time winner of Coach of the Year award was Harry Gallatin of the St. Louis Hawks. On the All-NBA First Team, we have Bob Pettit of the St. Louis Hawks, averaging 28.4 points per game, 3.1 assists per game, and 15.1 rebounds per game. Elgin Baylor of the Los Angeles Lakers, averaging 34 points per game, 4.8 assists per game, and 14.3 rebounds per game. Bill Russell of the Boston Celtics, averaging 16.8 points per game, 4.5 assists per game, and 23.6 rebounds per game. Oscar Robinson of the Cincinnati Royals, averaging 28.3 points per game, 9.5 assists per game, and 10.4 rebounds per game. Jerry West of the Los Angeles Lakers, 27.1 points per game, 5.6 assists per game, and 7 rebounds per game. On the All-NBA second team, we had Tom Henderson of the Boston Celtics, averaging 22.1 points per game, 2.1 assists per game, and 9.5 rebounds per game. 
per game. Bailey Howell of the Detroit Pistons, 22.7 points per game, 2.9 assists per game, and 11.5 rebounds per game. Wilt Chamberlain of the San Francisco Warriors, 44.8 points per game, 3.4 assists per game, and 24.3 rebounds per game. Bob Cousy of the Boston Celtics, 13.2 points per game, 6.8 assists per game, and 2.5 rebounds per game. And Hal Greer of the Syracuse Nationals, 19.5 points per game, 3.4 assists per game, and 5.7 rebounds per game. The NBA All Rookie First Team consisted of Zelmo Beattie of the St. Louis Hawks, Dave Bushier of the Detroit Pistons, Terry Dishinger of the Chicago Zephyrs, John Havlicek of the Boston Celtics, and Chet Walker of the Syracuse Nationals. Guys, if you want the rookie numbers as well, let me know in the comments, or I could just add them in the description, in the pinned comment, whatever you guys want, let me know. Let's get into the playoffs. The 1963 NBA playoffs began on March 19th, 1963, and ended on April 24th, 1963. This was the first time that both the division final series went to deciding game seven. The three seed Cincinnati Royals were able to beat the Syracuse Nationals 3-2 in the Eastern Division semifinals. In the Western Division semifinals, the two seed St. Louis Hawks won over the Detroit Pistons 3-1. The Eastern Division finals saw Boston getting pushed to seven games by Oscar Robinson-led Cincinnati Royals. But despite his 43-point performance in Game 7, Sam Jones of the Celtics scored 47 to power his team to another finals appearance. The Los Angeles Lakers and the St. Louis Hawks saw both teams defending their home court in every game. Elgin Baylor's 35 points and 15 rebounds took the Lakers to a win and second straight finals appearance. This year's finals began on April 14, 1963. This was the Celtics' seventh straight trip to the championship series and the Lakers' second straight. Boston held home court in games one and two, winning 117 to 114 in game one and 113 to 106 in game two. Sam Jones led the team in scoring both of those games and Bill Russell pulled down 67 rebounds, 29 in game one, 38 in game two. In game three, the Lakers took their first win, 119 to 99, powered by Jerry West's 42 points and Elgin Baylor's 23 rebounds and eight assists. The Celtics took a 3-1 lead in game four, winning 108 to 105. Back in Boston, Elgin Baylor had a big 43-point, 20-rebound game to lift the Lakers over the Celtics, 126 to 119. Game six saw six Celtics scoring double figures to win the game, 112 to 109 in Los Angeles. And with that, the Boston Celtics have won their fifth consecutive NBA title. It's ball world. That's wraps on the 1962 to 1963 NBA season. Help us win that Rookie of the Year award with a like and subscribe if you're new. Y'all, I appreciate you. It's Ab. I'm signing off. I'll see you guys next time.